and add to it. I picked this horse specifically because the next part I think he'll be the one to struggle with if he struggles with it. Um, so what we had so far is just go forward and go forward consistently. We're making sure that the shoulder moves away from us when we start up just like our rope halter work. Forward, forward consistently. We put pressure on the rein. The hip moves away nice and easy. We switch sides. Forward, shoulder moves away. Pressure on the rein, hip moves away, and we stop. Okay, the next part that we're gonna add into it, though I want you to spend a few minutes just doing that part, refreshing that, make sure it's good and fluid. The next part we're gonna add to it is the backup. So what we do is we go forward, and we go forward consistently. And then you'll notice when I ask for the hip, this front inside foot right here stops and pivots. I'll watch it again. When I go forward, I ask for that hip, this front inside foot stops and pivots. When I see that stop and start to pivot, I switch my pressure backwards towards his tail with my rein. But only when that foot pivots. So as soon as it pivots, I switch the pressure backwards and ask him for a step back. The reason why I do it this way and do it through the hip first is that the backup becomes fluent and without tensing up if the body's already moving and if the hips already moving they're already in the balance when that happens to shift their weight backwards and flow backwards and i don't want to have to push them back or have them lock up if they do stop when you ask them to back up and they don't just go right into the backup don't try to force them back don't try to push them back there's too much tension there and they lock their body up you need it to stay free if they stop and lock up just ask them to go forward again go straight back to moving their tail and then ask for the backup again until it becomes fluent and they just roll into it. So we'll watch again a couple times. Don't go to it yet. We'll start it in just a minute. When we go forward, forward consistently. A little more energy, please. There you go. A little more energy. Not quite yet. Okay, now I ask for his tail. Switch the pressure. Back up, back up, back up. Good. Switch sides. Go forward. Move your tail, that front inside foot stops. Now he was a little hesitant, so I was gonna take him back forward, but he followed through and just went backwards. So I didn't have to ask him to go forward again. We're gonna try it again. Move your tail, switch the pressure. It's not a lot of pressure, it's just a little bit. Go back, good. Try it again on this side. Go forward, switch the pressure backwards. Take that step back, good. Go forward, move your tail, switch the pressure, go back. Good, and it's very light, it's very easy, you don't want to force them back, that's the key. You don't want to have to push or force them back. You just want to give the direction and they naturally flow back into it. So spend a couple minutes, five, 10 minutes just moving the hip. Make sure that moves light and easy. It has to move light and easy for this to work very, very well for the backup. And then when I tell you, we'll start adding the backup into it every single time. All right, let's go to it. What you release on is what he'll learn. <laughs> he'll figure it out. So we're looking to get a lot of soft, easy.